Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about five things we should do for ourselves that will make our lives much, much better. Let's get started. Number one, gratitude. Gratitude practice is meant to remind you of all the good things in your life. It is not meant to invalidate your pain. Sometimes people think that, oh, if I practice gratitude, all my pain will go away. No. Gratitude practice is to remind you that your life is not as bad as you think it is. So every day, either in the morning or before going to bed, say a gratitude prayer. Thank God or the universe for everything that went well and also for the things that started bad but ended up with valuable lessons. Say thanks for all those lessons and experiences. Do not do this practice for the sake of doing it. Give thanks only for the things that you truly feel grateful for. This is a very powerful practice, so make sure you're doing it genuinely with all your heart. Number two, stillness. With all the information that gets into your mind, with all the work that you have to do in a day, you spend very less time or sometimes even no time with yourself. But some solitude, some time for yourself is important to process everything that you experience on a daily basis. So make sure you spend some time for yourself. Tune out all the outer noise and hear yourself. You can meditate, you can take a walk in the nature, you can reflect on your day, but it has to be you and only you without any outer influence. Putting yourself as a priority is important. With all the time that you spend in your work or your studies, with all the time you spend with your friends and with all the time you spend for the TV shows and movies, 15 minutes or 30 minutes with yourself is something that you can definitely afford and it will have a very big impact in your life. Number three. Patience. Some of you might be watching this video on 1.5x, but that's okay. I'm not talking about that patience. When life gets difficult, we need to understand that this will change. This will only last for a while. And that is the kind of patience that we need to cultivate. And there's a difference between waiting and patience. You are not waiting so that life will get better, wherein you hate this whole process of waiting, which only makes the situation worse. Patience, on the other hand, is when you accept your situation and your patience is not making your situation worse, it's making it better. Understand this and cultivate patience. Number four, letting go. Now, letting go is not as easy as it sounds, but it is also not as hard as we think it is. Letting things go is about the mindset we adopt. Whether it's a person or material possessions or your past, letting it go from your life is easy. Letting it go from your mind is difficult. If you just take a look at your life, a lot of things that you cannot let go of, it's already gone from your life. It's only staying inside your head. So understand that whatever it is that you're holding on to, it's inside your mind. You're mentally holding on to it while it is not even present in your life. And letting things go mentally is a gradual process. You have to take steps every single day to get there. And when you let go of all these mental baggage one by one, your life will feel much lighter. Number five, do things you love. The fastest and easiest way to make your life much better is to do the things that you love. Create a life that you absolutely love. I'll give you a very simple example. If you're watching this video on your mobile phone, take a look at your phone cover. Do you like it? No. Change it. Get your favorite color or your favorite superhero. You're probably sitting on your bed. Take a look at your bedspread. Do you like it? Do you like the color? No. Change it. Get your favorite color or get your favorite cartoon character. I just got myself a Mickey Mouse bedspread recently. Look around you. Why do you have to keep things that you don't like? Replace it with things that you like. It might seem like a very minor change, but trust me, it has a very big impact on your mood. Just look around you and replace the things with the things you love. It makes your life much, much better. Like you're in the movies, it gives you the main character vibes, trust me. Wear that outfit, go to that cafe that you always wanted to visit, do that painting, write those lines, do things that you really love and that is the only quick fix I can give you in this video. Well, of course, there are things that takes time like your dream job or your passion project or that business you wanted to start. It's obviously going to take time, but spending half an hour or one hour on the dream project today is still a quick fix to make yourself feel happier, to do the thing that you love. Every single day, do the things that you love and see how your life is getting better. And those are the five things. Gratitude, stillness, patience, letting go and doing the things that you love. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching.